so hi guys a uh, typical case of uh, having to jump a stage uh, based on uh, let's say you know an approval or denial cases where we have this um, review whatever is the status of this review will determine if the next two steps are going to get activated or not right so if it is approved then the logic is it will directly go to appointing a designer but if the drawings are denied or if the drawings are not proper or whatever it is then we basically need to re-upload the drawing and only once the re-upload is accepted that is when the designer should be approved uh, should be appointed or whatever it is so what we have first done here is this is a very simple you know stage where we are saying that if it is approved or denied we simply need to document if it is approved or denied. If there is some data here, then it will simply put a timestamp based on this particular step having some data that is 106 not null. Okay. Now, once this happens, the next stage here, I'm saying that it will only get activated once there is a timestamp here and the stage here is basically, the step here is basically deny okay so that is what we have said here 106 deny now once it is denied here there are few more you know steps you know that is happening then we are saying that this particular drop down has to have the word done only then we are going to basically go ahead and timestamp it here there is some more logic saying you know this has to be done the file has to also be uploaded only then it will basically be completed now once this step is completed then what we are saying is the step below that so the stage below that is going to get activated and in this stage what we have done is we have written a formula okay what is this formula doing this formula is going to check that if in the first place itself the drawing was approved or not if the drawing was approved it will return a yes if it was not approved if it was denied then it will look for this particular you know step here where the doer is instructed to click on done only when the drawing has been actually re-approved okay so how do we write this you know formula let's quickly have a look we'll go to data and this is what we have done here in the formula. We have said that array formula, if this particular formula is in row DW, whatever row it is in, okay, and if the answer of that is 1, then give me the column header. Now, if we are not in the first row, I am simply going to check if, you know, the statuses are there or not. The approve, deny, approve, deny in the first place when we are checking the drawing if the status is not there we are not bothered we are simply not going to put anything there then we are going to say that if the status is already approved we are simply going to go ahead and write the word yes but if it is not approved it will do another level of checking and check if the step below this has the word done or not now this particular step below this will never get activated because that's how the flow is designed until the time this is not done it will not put the word yes what we have also done is we have just done some you know testing here with you know uh, actual you know texts where we are saying if this is approved we can see this formula is returning a yes if this is denied and this is done this formula is again returning a yes and if it is only a deny then and there is no done here then the formula is not returning a yes what this thing is helping me do is it is basically a helper step for me it is saying am i ready to appoint a designer yes or no okay so yes or basically a blank so then if i go to my settings you can see the next step here is based on the previous step having the word yes and a timestamp sorry let's let, let's put it this way the actual
actual time stamping of this stage is dependent on this particular formula throwing up a yes. So only when there is a yes here will this particular time stamping be, be done and when there is a time stamping that is done here that is when the plan time for the next step is going to come. What this is helping me do is basically taking care of all the holidays, the working hours and everything else because just in case let's say you know there is an approval that has come in late in the day. If I write a normal formula you know like a TS formula then it might you know roll over you know to a non-working hour unless you know I write a very complicated you know formula to take care of everything. With this kind of a method what we are able to do is we are able to sort of use the script itself to compute the planned time. So that is what is helping. I will also you know put this formula in the description of this video to help you guys. Thank you.